Hi everyone. Uh, this is Michelle Madden uh, from CTUC, Environmental Association. Um, I'm going to be reading a story today. Uh, and I'm just going to wait a few minutes before I start uh, to see if anybody else hops on. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here where I am. And I'll talk about where I am in a minute. Hi, friends. Um, I think I might just stay here for the rest of the day. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. Like, I could get used to this. All right, well, I'm just gonna start, uh, and people will probably come in uh, as, as they're ready. Hi, everybody. Uh, so my name is Michelle Madden. Uh, I am on the instructional staff at the Little Peepers Forest School, um, which is uh, comes under the auspice of SeaTuck Environmental Association. Uh, we're here on the uh, south shore of Long Island, about midway between New York City and Montauk, um, in Suffolk County. Uh, today, uh, I am not coming to you from SeaTuck. I'm coming to you from another beautiful place just down the road on Long Island uh, in a town called Oakdale, New York, uh, still on the South Shore. Uh, it's actually on uh, what is called the Conaquat River here. And I am at a place called the Bayard Cutting Arboretum. As you can see, this place uh, was a private uh, estate, I believe, built in the early 1920s. Don't quote me on that. Uh, and uh, now the state, New York State, uh, has turned it into a state park. Uh, and it is a lovely, lovely place to come. Lots and lots of various trees and flowers and plants, uh, never ending pathways. Uh, the house itself, the estate is not open right now for obvious reasons, uh, but when it is and when it does open again, uh, I encourage anyone who's visiting here or lives here to come by and check it out. It's a glorious place, uh, just a beautiful manor home uh, on, on gorgeous acres. I think it's about 500 acres, possibly more. Um, and anyways, I've found myself a very cool place to sit today. There are lots of cool places to sit here, but this one is really cool. So as you can see, um, it's not raining here, but uh, I am sitting under a magnolia tree. Uh, I am actually sitting in a, basically a, a big carpet of magnolia petals all over. And this tree is beautiful. There's so many trees like this on the property. Uh, but this one I, I liked in particular because it's a little bit removed and you can see some of the daffodils right behind me. There are so many groupings of daffodil plantings here. It is spectacular. Uh, I know I keep singing its praises, but this is really a special place. Uh, just beautiful. Beautiful place to come walk, come sit, come read, um, come meditate. So anyways, I am under this magnolia tree, so if you see things falling in my face or falling in the background, uh, it's not the sky, it's the petals from the magnolia tree. In fact, if I do a little bit of this, bear with me, you can see the tree itself it is very cool. Sorry for the shaky. But look at this ancient tree. It's awesome. And I have a little bit of shade and a little bit of sun uh, because the petals are falling. So I'm sun dappled is how I like to think of it. I'm trying to get the daffodils in the background. 
give you the full experience here. It is a beautiful day here on Long Island. Uh, last I checked, it was about 63, 64 degrees. Very different from last week um, when I was reading uh, over at the Scully Estate uh, where SeaTech is located. It was just about a low to mid 40s. I was bundled up, I had a scarf. It was chilly. Uh, but this is just a spectacular day and a great place to be on such a beautiful day. Um, lots of people walking around, keeping their distance, of course. Um, and yeah. So today's book, it's a relatively simple one, but I think it's a beautiful one. And I think it really captures what's going on outside right now. Um, so I hope you I hope you find the same. Here we go. Oh, by the way, let me apologize ahead of time because I have not had the capability, found the capability on my camera to flip the text so that you guys can read it properly. Um, it's backwards to you, but it's not backwards to me. So my apologies, um, but there's not that much text and the pictures you'll be able to see with no problem. So if you couldn't read that backwards, the book I'm going to read today is called When Spring comes. And this is written by Kevin Hanks, who was a favorite author and illustrator of mine uh, and my kids when they were young. But he did not illustrate this book. It was illustrated by Laura Dronzik. So here we go. When spring comes. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. I think this looks like the magnolia tree I'm sitting under. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. There's the snowman slowly disappearing as it gets warmer until he's gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. I don't know about all of you, but I've started to see a lot of those little flowers. Lily the valley, violets, bluebells, If you wait, an egg will become a bird. There's the egg, and there is the bird. A seed will start growing. I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of seeds start to grow. Little seedlings popping up some flowers and some seedlings but they're coming spring comes with sun and it comes with rain this is certainly true we've had sunny and rainy lots of rainy and a few bursts of sunny days here and there and more rain and more rain. And you can see it looks like a robin is sitting on her eggs waiting patiently at the beginning of spring for the eggs to break and the babies to come in the rain. Do 
you like mud? Do you like puddles? I know at Little Peeper's school, we love mud and we love puddles. And I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. I know I've seen lots of this happening. And spring will call out the pussy willows. And new kittens, too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. There's the quick daffodils. As you can see them behind me. It also changes its mind a lot. Poor daffodils, taken by surprise with some snow in early spring. I don't think we need to worry about that. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There you go. I think I've seen a lot of kids doing this already. Bees, boots, and bubbles. There will be worms, and wings, and wind, and wheels. I've seen almost all of these things today. Lots of wings and wheels. You will feel it, you will smell it, and you will hear it. I'm sure you can hear it where I am here. Beautiful birds. Oh, and there's the wind. I can feel the wind. This day looks exactly, in the book, this day looks exactly like the day here. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you're not. Now you have to wait for summer. Strawberries, yum, strawberries in summer. And all of these other wonderful things. Fireworks, and sunflowers, and sailboats, and beach balls. Lots and lots of summer fun things. But I'm not hurrying summer because I am enjoying spring, and I am sure all of you are too. So that is the story of when spring comes. So, again, I am Michelle Madden. Uh, I'm on the instructional staff at the Little Peepers Forest School here in uh, Islip, New York, on the south shore of Long Island. And uh, I hope you've had a, a nice little story time with me today. Um, I'm enjoying it tremendously sitting here, and I wish you could all be with me live because it's just so beautiful here and so gorgeous. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and don't forget, 2.30 every day, we have our From the Field series. Um, 
there's more things coming up. And on Thursday, uh, my colleague Mary will also be reading another story uh, in a different location. Uh, we also have our Daily Nature Challenge going, which has been a lot of fun, and I hope people are checking that out. Uh, we're trying to keep people engaged to get outside and do all kinds of fun things. Um, so, yeah, feel free to check that out. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. Be well. Thank you.